Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I also try to discuss a very important topic on agriculture precision. Mainly today I talk about that how we can easily monitor the soil organic carbon from NDVI involves using field data in Google Earth Engine. So I will show you that all of across, all of method. I hope you can easily do this type of analysis and then further you can easily monitor the soil organic carbon so soil organic carbon uh, is a key indicator of soil health high soil organic carbon level generally indicate the fertile soil with good structure high nutrient content and better water retention and healthy soil promotes the robust plant growth and increase the crop yield so that's why it's very important for the agriculture precision so the, in this time, I also try to discuss about that, how we can easily monitor the soil organic carbon. So first of all, we need to collect the some field data. Okay, So we collect the field data, mainly we collect the soil organic carbon data, as well as we also collect the some NDVI data as at the same geolocation from our field. So we can easily get the NDVI data from our satellite imagery if you want you can use at the landsat or sentinel imagery and then further for the same geolocation we also collect the soil organic carbon data from the field then we can take the laboratory test and further we identify about that soil organic carbon so you can take the some um, field data from your cropland or your specific boundary then further you just try to apply the linear fit model okay using that python we try to find out the linear fit using the linear regression model and then further we calculate about that intersect value as well as we calculate about that slope value from that we can easily indicating about that in uh, google earth engine and then use the coefficient from the linear model in ge to estimate the soil organic carbon so let's go i will try to explain all of those things practically then i hope we can easily get this idea how we can easily monitor that soil organic carbon so first of all we have to need some analysis in that google collab so basically here you can see this is my field data basically this field data has the two one is the ndvi ndvi mainly this type of data i generate from that sentinel 2 satellite imagery and this is my another uh, ground truth data mainly soil organic carbon you can see different uh, ndvi value well, you can find out the different different soil organic carbon hello so this is my two data so this two data i just further apply a model basically linear regression fit model between that ndvi and soil organic carbon and further you just try to print that intercept value and coefficient value so basically intercept value you can see this is the intercept value we find out that intercept value as well as we also get about the coefficient value so basically this two value we need when you want to estimate that soil organic carbon based on the ndvi values and further you can see about that uh, our chart about that linear regression model for soil organic carbon chart we can get this type of things here you can see this is the ndvi value and this is the soil organic carbon value we also make this type of linear regression chart and here we can easily get the intercept value and coefficient value this coefficient value and this intercept value further we also apply in google earth engine and then we monitor the soil organic carbon so here you can see i already write the code look like that here i can get this type of result so basically here you can see this is my ndvi map okay and this is my soil organic carbon map so here you can easily find out that this type of things identify this type of color is identify about that high concentration of that soil organic carbon this is the unit about that gram per kg else you can see about that uh, this is the low in indicating about the low and this type of color is identify about that medium okay you can simply see the color gradient and further you can identify for that different types of things as well as if you simply click on here and then you can simply check the value so let's click on here now we can easily get this type of value here you can see we can easily get what is the value for a specific coordinate what is the ndvi value we can find out the 0 0.3 and what is that soil organic carbon we can get the 78.16 further you can simply click on here what is the value about that and what is the ndvi value we can also generate from here here you can see 
we can get that this is a 0 0.3 and what is the soil organic carbon we can easily get from here so this is the process so in this time first of all we try to calculate this type of intercept value and coefficient value this intercept value and coefficient value further we also apply in our model in google earth engine so basically here you can see in this time i just put here this type of value so this is my uh, intercept value also you can get this type of um, slope value okay then we simply multiply our, with our ndvi result okay then we can easily predict the full ndvi well so here you can see this is the process about that soil organic carbon estimation so further we also try to discuss about the more uh, content about the agriculture precision so you can easily check all of details from my upcoming online training program about that agriculture precision from my website link here the website link i already attached in my video description simply check it and further if you want to learn more details then simply contact in my whatsapp also contact with my email then you can easily learn all of those things okay so today is no more thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe